Hi everybody, it's Mary here with Minards Leisure World. Today I'm going to walk you through the 2024 Cedar Creek 40 CDL. So this is a loft model, hence the DL. No, double loft. Yeah, double loft. Okay, I'm going to start right up here at the front. Um, these guys do come with a detachable hitch. So um, obviously these are permanent units. They're not meant to be hauled around. So if you do get it on the site, you can pop that hitch off. I'll give you more of a cleaner look out front here. So coming down here, these guys do a true high gloss gel coat on the exterior. Um, this is also a 25th anniversary edition. So Cedar Creek revamped their um, exterior deco package this year. We think they look great. We're really excited about the interior as well, but still working on the exterior here. Dual pane windows is what we have optioned in as well as the dual pane sliding glass door to the deck. These guys are also 102 inches wide, so they are considered a wide body, which you're gonna feel that space when you get in there. And then uh, two awnings, they both have LED lights. They are both going to come out about eight feet, so you're getting a ton of coverage on your campsite. Okay, at 40 feet, six inches total length for this unit. It is long, but once again, you're not hauling it around. So this one does not come backup camera prepped. You probably hear us say that often in our videos. This one does not because it's stationary, but nice high ceilings up there. That's where the double loft is located. Alrighty, you guys, we are in the 2024 Cedar Creek 40 CDL. That is the double loft version. This is the front of the trailer here in case you get flipped around. So right off the bat, um, I want to talk about a little bit of storage here. So a nice place to hang fly swatters, a couple hoodies. Um, you can hide anything in there that you need to. Your control panel is all right up here and your fuse box is located down there. And then rolling over here, we do have the hutch area, solid wood cabinet doors in here, you guys, with the magnetic clasp on the inside. Really nice feature. They did a two-toned in here, which I'm sure you've already noticed. Solid surface countertops and this nice gray backsplash here. In the Cedar Creek cottages, they are coming with a 12 volt fridge. So this is a 20 cubic 12 volt refrigerator. You've got dual freezers here and then your double door fridge. So lots and lots of space in here. And then right over here to the island, we did option in the dishwasher. Now, not everybody's gonna use this, but if you don't, it's a great place to hide the good snacks. Nobody will find them in there, especially the grandkids, because my kids don't know what a dishwasher is, so I'm gonna bet yours don't either. Um, and then we've got a storage drawer underneath here, uh, farmhouse style sink here. It is under set in this solid surface countertop, and then you have your residential faucet here as well. A few other changes they did in the 24 is the two-tone cabinet, or the two-tone countertop, pardon me, as well. So they did a nice dark gray over here, and they changed out the handles from black to stainless this year, which looks really sharp. Glass inset in these two cabinets as well. So down here, you do have some more storage, a couple nice-sized drawers, three-burner stove here, good-sized oven, and then you are going to have a garbage bin right here as well. The entertainment area here, you've got the electric fireplace, which the girls had on, so it's very warm in here, but it does turn on, give you some good heat, uh, changes colors. You've got a nice little mantle here. TV comes with it. The icing on the cake is the pantry in this, you guys. It's a secret pantry. You flip this open, Murphy pantry, whatever you want to call it. Built-in shelving, room for a broom. That's so key. Um, and then spice rack over here. Tons of room back there. So this is awesome. So with this being the wide body, you are getting a full queen size high to bed sofa back here. So we optioned this in in the Bahama color. So that's what this darker color is here. Um, kind of a vinyl feeling here. This folds out once again, high to bed, not the trifold. You've got all the front windows here, a couple of those open. And then right over here, we did option in the theater seating as well. So power, theater seating, cup holders, and you get some nice doggy pillows with it as well. Another change they made in the 24s was taking out two of the chairs and putting in this nice ottoman. So this does lift up for storage. Now I'm a blanket. We are a blanket family. Um, this is perfect for some of those throw blankets, maybe some board games or something you want to put in there too. Um, but you do still get your two fully backed chairs. Right over here, they did option in this buffet area. Uh, nice strong magnet holding that closed. This is great. I've personally been in one of these um, that a friend of mine owns and they put their food here and you can walk around, dish up at the stovetop, back out the door because nobody eats inside when we're camping. But um, it does give you that extra little bit of space there. You can scooch a couple chairs up if you've got grandkids maybe coloring or making some crafts while you're working in the kitchen. Okay, in the washroom, these guys obviously put in the porcelain foot flush toilet. We have a nice size cabinet um, back there for all of your linens. And then stepping into the shower, you have that multi-jet shower head, beautiful uh, textured surround here with the light above. Take note of that, it's really, really sharp. You do have a little bench seating in there as well. 
and then coming over to the sink. You have a bit of counter space. You've got that whole built-in sink there, uh, medicine cabinet storage and storage below. Also in the bathroom, you are going to get a 20 gallon water heater. Okay guys, come on up to the double loft. I'll give you a little tour here. Okay, we are up on the double side of the loft. So we've got two single beds here. There is storage directly across from me and then some more cubby storage over here. We've got satellite hookup, we've got plugins. Uh, we probably have USB behind me. I knew it was back there somewhere and some vents up here as well. So the AC is traveling up into here. And then right across from me is the second area of the loft, which overlooks the living area. And you still have some more sleeping space up here. Alrighty, in the master bedroom, we are once again at the back of the trailer now. So I know you guys can get to a little bit turned around watching these videos. There is a separate entrance door right behind my camera lady there. We have a window in here that does open full king size bed. We do have little nightstands up above USB chargers and two windows that open on each side as well. Okay, here's that entrance door here I was talking about. Grab handle to get out as well. Uh, down here, you've got four nice size drawers, a little bit of hidden storage here, another window that's gonna open. And then we did equip the room with a TV. Storage, storage is very important in all of these trailers, especially a full time living. Um, so in this one, you do have a washer dryer prep. You may or may not use it, that's okay. Um, but if not, you can make this into kind of a fuller closet. It does come prepped with a closet rod, so you can utilize it that way. And then down here, we have another closet area. Uh, light should come on, ta-da! <laughs> and then just more storage space down here. In the 23s, they did have central vac. They have moved away from that and just optioned in the freestanding cordless vacuum cleaner now. Hey folks, once again, I am Tamara. Thanks for joining me on the tour of this beautiful 2024 Cedar Creek Cottage 40 CDL. Now, there are a ton of specs that I didn't cover in this. They're, they're built essentially like a home. So if you want more information, please give us a call or look us up at minorsleisureworld.com.